In Hinduism, the tilaka Sanskrit, tilaka is a mark worn usually on the forehead, sometimes other parts of the body such as neck, hand or chest. Tilaka may be worn on a daily basis or for rites of passage or special religious occasions only, depending on regional customs. The term also refers to the Hindu ritual of marking someone's forehead with a fragrant paste, such as of sandalwood or vermilion, as a welcome and expression of honor when they arrive. Topic Description The tilaka is a mark created by the application of powder or paste on the forehead. Tilakas are vertical markings worn by Vaishnavites. The Vaishnava tilaka consists of a long vertical marking starting from just below the hairline to almost the end of one's nose tip, and they are also known as Erdvapundra. It is intercepted in the middle by an elongated U. There may be two marks on the temples as well. This tilaka is traditionally made with sandalwood paste. The other major tilaka variant is often worn by the followers of Shiva, known by the names of Rudra Tilaka and Tripundra. It consists of three horizontal bands across the forehead with a single vertical band or circle in the middle. This is traditionally done with sacred ash from fire sacrifices. This variant is the more ancient of the two and shares many common aspects with similar markings worn across the world. Shaktas, worshippers of the various forms of the goddess Devi, wear a large red dot of kumkum vermilion or red turmeric on the forehead. Topic: <laughs> Significance. Chapter 2 of the Kalanyi Rudra Upanishad, a Shaiva traditional text, explains the three lines of Atilaka as a reminder of various triads, three sacred fires, three syllables in Om, three gunas, three worlds, three types of Atman self, three powers in oneself, first three Vedas, three times of extraction of the Vedic drink Soma. The first line is equated to Gahapatya, the sacred fire in a household kitchen, the A syllable of Om, the Raja's Guna, the earth, the external self, Kriya the power of action, the Rigveda, the morning extraction of Soma, and Maheshvara. The second streak of ash is a reminder of Dakshinanyi, the holy fire lighted in the south for ancestors, the sound U of Om, Sattva Guna, the atmosphere, the inner self, ICCHA, the power of will, the Yajurveda, midday Soma extraction, and Sadashiva. The third streak is the Ahavaniya, the fire used for Homer, the M syllable in Om, the Tamas Guna, Svarga, heaven, the Paramatman, the highest self, the ultimate reality of Brahman, J Nana, the power of knowledge, the Samaveda, Soma extraction at dusk, and Shiva. These lines, states Antonio Rigopolis, represent Shiva's threefold power of will, Ichasakti, knowledge, J Sakti, and action Kriya -sakti. The Tripundra described in this and other Shaiva texts also symbolizes Shiva's trident Trisula and the divine triad of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. The Vasudeva Upanishad, a Vaishnava tradition text, similarly explains the significance of three vertical lines in Urdhva Pundra Tilaka to be a reminder of Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, the Vedic scriptures, Rigveda, Yajurveda and Samaveda, three worlds Bhu, Bhuva, Svar, the three syllables of Om, A, U, M, three states of consciousness, awake, dream sleep, 
Deep Sleep, Three Realities, Maya, Brahman and Atman, The Three Bodies, Southula, Sukshma, and Karana. Traditions Different Hindu traditions use different materials and shapes to make the tilaka. Saivites typically mark their tilak using vibhuti in three horizontal lines across the forehead. Along with the three horizontal lines, a bindu of sandalwood paste or a dot of red kumkum in the center completes the tilaka tripundra. Vaishnavas apply a tilak with vermilion, clay, sandalwood paste chandan, or latter two mixed. They apply the material in two vertical lines, which may be connected at the bottom, forming a simple U-shape, often with an additional vertical red marking in the shape of a tulsi leaf inside the U-shape. The tilaka is called the Urdhva Pundra. See also Sri Vaishnava Urdhva Pundra, the Sri Vaishnava Tilaka. Ganapatya use red sandal paste Shaktas use kumkuma, or powdered red turmeric. They draw one vertical line or dot not to be confused with bindi used by Indian women from different religions. Honorary tilakas Raja tilaka and Veera tilaka are usually applied as a single vertical red line. Raja tilaka will be used while enthroning kings or inviting prominent personalities. Veera tilaka is used to anoint victors or leaders after a war or a game. Swaminarayana tilaka is U-shaped in the middle of forehead along with the red dot in the middle of U known as Chandlo. Cultural tradition Sikhs apply the tilaka as well. The Darshan Darba devotees apply red tilaka to the forehead. This tilaka is a long red mark veritically applied. Saint Baba Buddha Ji applied tilaka to the first five Sikh gurus. Jains use tilaka to mark the forehead of Jaina images with sandalwood paste, during puja ceremonies. Christians in India use tilaka, both to mark special occasions and during their worship rites. Hindus use the tilaka ceremony, as a mark of honor and welcome to guests, something special or someone special. It may also be used, for same reason, to mark idols at the start of a puja worship, to mark a rock or tree before it is cut or removed from its original place for artisan work, or a new piece of property. <laughs> Types The choice of style is not mandated in Hindu texts, and it is left to the individual and the regional culture, leading to many versions. The known styles include Vijayshri, white tilaka Urdhvapundra with a white line in the middle, founded by Swami Balanand of Jaipur, Bendi tilaka, white tilak Urdhvapundra with a white round mark in the middle, founded by Swami Ramprasad Acharya of Badasthanayodhya, and Chaturvuji tilaka, white tilak Urdhvapundra with the upper portion turned 90 degrees in the opposite direction, no Shri in the middle, founded by Narayandis G of Bihar, ascetics of Swargdwar of Ayodhya follow it. Sharma has named additional styles as Valiv Sampraday Tilak, Sri Tilaka of Rawasa Gadi, Ramacharandas Tilaka, Srijawarama Ka Tilaka, Sri Janakraja Kishori Sharan Rasik Aliji Ka Tilaka, Sri Rupkalaji Ka Tilaka, Rupsarisji Ka Tilaka, Ramasakiji Ka Tilaka, 
Kamanendu Mani Ka Tilaka, Karunasindu Ji Ka Tilaka, Swamanarayana Tilaka, Nimbaka Ka Tilaka and Madhwa Ka Tilaka. Relationship to Bindi The terms tilaka and bindi overlap somewhat, but are not synonymous. Among the differences, a tilaka is always applied with paste or powder, whereas a bindi may be paste or jewel. A tilaka is usually applied for religious or spiritual reasons, or to honor a personage, event, or victory. A bindi can signify marriage, or be simply for decorative purposes. A bindi is worn only between the eyes, whereas a tilaka can also cover the face or other parts of the body. Tilaka can be applied to twelve parts of the body, head, forehead, neck, both upper arms, both forearms, chest, both sides of the torso, stomach and shoulder. Topic Terminology It is also called Tikli or Shitha Ha in Bengali, Tika, or Tilakam or Tilak in Hindi, Sanskrit, Tilaka Tilaka, Hindustani pronunciation, T L K in Nepal, Bihar and other regions. The Tilakam is called a Tika, Tika, Tika ka, and is a mixture of abir, a red powder, yogurt, and grains of rice. The most common tikka is red powder applied with the thumb, in a single upward stroke. Gallery See also Ash Wednesday, a forehead marking tradition in Christianity Bindi, a cosmetic item of decoration for women in South Asia Fascinator, a cosmetic item worn near the forehead, an alternative to a hat Third Eye Tilak Vaishnava Erdva Pundra Tilak Vibhuti